What's up guys? Welcome to Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we're going to be spring cleaning. You know what that means, Joey. So we want to go ahead and take care of our rides. You know, it's that time of the year where, you know, it's in between summer and the beginning of the year. You know, most of us did detail our cars at the beginning of the year. It's spring now, which means that we're at that midway checkpoint, which means that we want to take a look at our vehicle, assess it and figure it out what it needs. So today, AJ, uh, I believe you have your grandpa's van here today, which as you guys can see, it's pretty filthy. It has a nice little layer of dust. Uh, AJ, why don't you tell us a little bit about his driving habits, you know, why it looks like this. Okay, so right now, since we haven't been driving this vehicle, it's been sitting in the driveway. I cleaned it three months ago. I didn't do a really deep clean on it just because my grandpa just wanted like a quick cleanup because he's just always sitting with a whole bunch of dust, especially with the bipolar weather that we're having, the rain, the wind, and everything else. All that has just piled up in those three months so we brought it here because we want to go ahead and do that spring cleaning i want to clean it up for him so he has a very nice car to see in the driveway and even though it's going to sit i want to protect it from all this dirt and stuff eating away to the clear coat and everything on the surface yeah definitely you can tell that this van does need a deep clean it may not look so dirty just because of the color of the vehicle but if you come up close you'll see that there's a lot of pollen bird poop grime bird droppings you have stuff on the top of the car on the roof on the glass so this thing does definitely need a deep clean and it does need some touch love and care so today we're going to be doing a full detail on the exterior just to go ahead and clean it up get it protected get it shiny and get it ready for aj's grandpa to enjoy this ride all right guys so to begin this process we're going to start off with the wheels because as you guys know the wheels are usually the most dirtiest parts of your vehicle simply seeing as to you know you're driving around you're kicking up all that dirt grime and anything that you pretty much run across to and you also have all the fine abrasives from the brake dust that kind of settle on the lower parts of your vehicle and on the wheel so today we're going to be starting off with the wheels first so aj i'm going to give this a little pre-rinse just to knock off a lot of that loose dirt debris and then i'll leave it to you to kind of give it that nice little deep clean cool yes sir <laughs> All right, so now that we're done rinsing off the wheels, we do that just to kind of knock off any kind of loose dirt and debris, just to kind of prevent ourselves from installing any kind of scratches or swirls. And if you could see on the tire beforehand, you could tell that the tire was a little bit more brown around the surface. Like there was a lot of brown up here, brown right here. But when Joy rinsed off the surface, it knocked off that little dirt that was sitting on top of it. So now we're gonna go ahead and move on and clean the whole wheel. We're gonna start with the tires. We're gonna get all clean. While I spray down the tire, Joey's gonna tell you a little bit more about all clean. All right guys, so the reason that we hit the tires first with all clean is because we wanna use a product that's strong and citrus based in order to break down the dirt and grind the sitting on the tire. Now to use it, we're gonna go ahead and use a nifty bristle brush. Now using a stiff bristle brush works out amazing for cleaning out your tires because it removes all the dirt and grime and stuff that's embedded within the actual, you know, the tire itself, the grooves and any kind of textured, you know, the branding of the tires as well. It helps you get all that dirt and grime out. So once you're done with the wheel cleaning process, once you dry your car, when you apply your dressing, it has a much better bond. And this is one of the best ways to avoid tire cleaning and it's super easy to do. It takes you less than 30 seconds to do it and the the results are amazing. So right now that AJ is pretty much almost done wrapping up the tire, then we can proceed with actually cleaning the wheel. And you can see how much just scrubbing it with all clean really breaks down all that dirt that's built up onto the surface. Especially like Joey said, if you want to apply a dressing and you don't want it to sling, you want to go ahead and do this process. Yeah, you can see all the brown foam, you know, <laughs> foam's not designed to be brown. It's supposed to be white, but in this case, it turned brown because of all the dirt and grime that he knocked off, which kind of encapsulated it with that foam. So now that we're done with that, we're going to give it a light rinse and proceed with the wheel. All right, so now that we're done rinsing off the cleaner and the grind from the tire, it's now actually time to proceed with actually cleaning the wheel itself. So to begin this process, AJ, what are we doing? We are gonna go ahead and get sticky citrus. It's a citrus-based cleaner that's gonna be really great for cleaning up all this brake dust that's built up in the back of the barrel, especially that these wheels aren't clean 
really heavily or deeply detailed just because my grandpa just wants uh, quick washes most of the time. So this is gonna be the first time we're actually gonna be taking all this dirt and grime that's built up into the back off. So this is gonna be really interesting to see. Yeah, I mean, because most people, they'll usually end up just cleaning the face of the wheel and you know, they're happy with that. But trust me, it's so satisfying when you clean that deeper part of the wheel just because you see the inner portion of your wheel clean and it just overall reflects the entire look of your wheels, especially if you have like some nice glossy wheels. You know, these aren't, <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that these aren't <laughs> ugly. <laughs> I'm just saying like if you have some custom wheels, like it's definitely great to see when it's clean because you get to see the overall wheel and you get to see it just how it looked when it was brand new. So let's get into some cleaning. Let's get right <laughs> to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray citrus. And the great thing about uh, sticky citrus is that it's designed to cling to the surface and that's exactly why it's called sticky citrus because once you spray onto the surface even if you gave your wheel a pre-rinse it just clings onto the surface giving you the maximum coverage and the cleaning power of where you want it to be at so in this case he's spraying the entire barrel and that works out great because once we grab our red rocket brush which as you guys can see it's a long flexible bristle brush that allows you to get deep in there and that's going to allow you to pretty much break down all the dirt and grime you know he said that his grandpa doesn't necessarily clean the inner portions of his wheel just because you know on these wheels you don't necessarily see them all that much however you know it makes a huge difference as far as like the overall look of your wheels so that's what we're doing right now we're giving it a nice deep clean with our red rocker wheel brush and as you guys can see the bristles are extremely flexible which means that we can get nice and deep in there and not struggle with kind of like a smaller brush or a brush that isn't as aggressive to help us get that deep clean it's really cleaning up that barrel because you can see right here this was all black earlier this was <laughs> like you couldn't see that at all but now that we have a little bit of aggressive brush at scrubbing the surface it really got that looking fresh and clean so we're gonna go ahead and finish it and just a little quick tip for you AJ usually when you clean your wheels you want to start off from the top and work your way down why is that you want to work from top to bottom to ensure that you don't mix in any kind of contaminants from the bottom of your wheel to the top of your wheel and that's pretty much the same concept with the body itself which we'll go a little bit more into detail with as we get into the wash but yeah start off from the top and work your way down <laughs> that, that, that's a good thing uh, <laughs> to know as well that's a good tip to know especially that we have our bucket right here so if I did it a little wrong down here I can go ahead in my bucket and go ahead and clean clean the brush and you can see that we have our amazing clear bucket right here that's going to show you all that dirt and contaminants that are kicking <laughs> off the barrel of these wheels so Dude, that water is so brown it's so nasty i know <laughs> that's how you know that these wheels needed a deep clean AJ. yes they needed a deep clean <laughs> badly For so sure. i'm gonna spray a little bit of sticky citrus onto the brush just to give me some more cleaning power and, and start from top correct yes i will start <laughs> from the top instead of the bottom this time we'll get that proper work so go ahead and scrub it deep oh my goodness look at look at how, how that <laughs> it's all coming out just all black yes this is really a much needed spa day for this car <laughs> get more cleaning power ooh look at that Look how the red rocket fits in these tight spaces. All right guys, so now that AJ is finally done cleaning the barrel of the wheel, now it's time to clean the surface of the wheel. So to be doing that, AJ, what are we gonna be using? We're gonna be using our Boar's Hair Brush paired with Sticky Citrus Wheel Cleaner still. So the Boar's Hair Brush is gonna be great for getting into those crevices, these really tight spaces, and around the lug nuts. You wanna be able to clean around the lug nuts, especially because all the caked up brake dust is gonna be built up inside there, especially if you don't clean it that much. Of course, it's going to be caked on there. So we're going to go ahead and spray some sticky citrus into our boar hair brush. Boar's hair brush. Right. There you go. There you go. Right, Joey? Yeah, that's right. There you so go. So we're going to be using this brush. As you guys can see, if you guys look up close, the lug nuts, they're pretty filthy. Um, the tighter areas of these wheels are extremely bad as well, as well as the valve stem over there. Now, AJ was mentioning that his grandpa doesn't necessarily do the deepest of cleanings for his wheel. So that's why we're hooking them up here today. So we're making sure that we pay a close attention to all the details around this wheel because what ultimately sets your detail, you know, detailing game apart from any other is the attention that you put into your vehicle. Now, in this case, we're making sure that all these tight areas are clean as well and not just worrying about our tires and the wheel itself so we want to make sure that every part of the wheel is clean including all these areas that AJ is cleaning right now like Joey said start from top to bottom there you 
you wish go. I did. There you go. You learn something new every day. <laughs> yes, sir. And then for those of you guys out there that may be wondering, you know, why is it taking so long to clean this wheel? You know, we get a lot, we get questions all the time, comments all the time, you know, saying that, you know, we take over 10 minutes to clean a wheel. And that's just for the simple sole purpose of, you know, this is kind of like a tutorial. So in reality, to clean your wheel, you know, with all the steps that we're taking here today, it should not take you more than a couple minutes. You know, for me personally, it takes me more, uh, at least like one to two minutes to deep clean my entire wheel, including the undercarriage, the tire, the wheel, the barrel, and all these, um, intricate areas so that's why we're taking a little bit more of a deep kind of approach here we want to make sure that we pay close attention to all these details and show you guys the reason and explain to you guys the reason for what we do on these specific areas so i'm also cleaning the caliper with sticky citrus wheel cleaner just to get all that brake dust that really caked up on there and then we'll get to the top up here as well breaking down all that dirt and grime we want off of there get this brake caliper looking brand new so now that we're done with the intricate areas of the wheel now we can proceed to just pretty much giving it that final wipe down with a uh, flag tip brush so that's what aj is going to do right now he's going to grab the green flag tip brush which as you guys can see it has a nice flexible fibers which as you guys can see they flex very nicely and they'll pretty much contour to the shape of your wheel so with this brush you can spray directly with your wheel cleaner and then begin agitating the surface of your wheel starting from top and working your way down to the bottom <laughs> Thank you for that tip, Joey. It really helped. Of course, just want to make sure that, you know, you get the best wheel clean for your grandpa. Just seeing to that I'm not really doing much and just kind of narrating and commenting here. So, Do you guys like it when Joey just narrates instead of doing the work? You know, you got to see someone else do the work feels, for once. It feels good for it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> see, that's what, that's what happens when you become a detailing master. You just watch the apprentices or uh, little newbies start doing the work well, right. just like you. All right, so now that we're pretty much finalizing this wheel cleaning process, now we can just give it that final rinse and then proceed with the other wheels, which AJ, you have kind of your work cut out for you. You have three more wheels to go. So let's rinse off this one and then we can continue with the other ones, get those wrapped up, and then we can proceed with cleaning the body of the van. Alrighty guys, so we are finally done cleaning the wheels, which means that now it's time to finally wash AJ's grandpa's van. That's right, the moment of truth, the moment that you guys have all been waiting for. Now let's get right into it. AJ, what do we got right here in front of us? Right in front of us, we have our two bucket method. Our two bucket method is gonna be great for making sure that we don't get any dirt and grime back onto the surface and scratch the paint. Sounds about right to me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the two bucket method is great because it's pretty much a filtration system that we use in our buckets so that we filter out any kind of abrasive wash particles that gets on our wash mitt from going back and forth from our wash bucket to our vehicle. So the way to use it is we have our two dirt traps here. AJ is gonna so kindly show you guys how to insert them into your bucket. As you guys can see clearly with our new ultra clear buckets, the dirt traps go in at an angle and they sit down flat as you get towards the bottom so that they create a seal and they stay at the bottom of your wash bucket so they, uh, they filter out the abrasive particles without them kind of refloating up and you know not doing their job. So now that that's all set up, we also have our two chenille microfiber wash mitts that we're going to be using to wipe down the van today. And in combination, AJ already got our big mouth foam cannon ready and prepped with some citrus washing gloss. So citrus washing gloss is what AJ decided to choose to wash his grandpa's van because I mean, as you guys can see, it's pretty filthy. It needs that deep clean. You know, usually on the maintenance clean, you can go with the uh, pH balance soap or a maintenance soap such as Mr. Pink. But in the case of this van, we wanna make sure that we're using the proper cleaning strain to break down all that dirt and grime that's on the surface with ease so that we have the easiest wash experience. So that's why we're using this combination today. So what we're gonna do now is set our soap in our buckets. Now we have our green bucket dirt trap here that we're gonna utilize for our soap bucket. So I'm gonna let AJ do that because I see him kind of standing there wanting to do something. <laughs> <laughs> so. How did you know? <laughs> there we go. So we're gonna put two ounces into our soap bucket. So one, two, there we go. And we already have two ounces in the foam cannon as well that he already prepped. So now that there's all that's left to do is pretty much rinse off the car and then we start foaming. <laughs> Don't forget activating the suds right Activate here. Activate the sud, dang, can't forget that. Here you go, AJ, I'll let you do the honors, okay? Try not to make a mess. I'll try my best. Woo! 
Ooh, there right, we go. I give that a six out of ten. On six the out of ten. Scale. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. Do better next time. <laughs> All right. So with that being said, we're gonna give the van a pre rinse to knock off as much loose dirt and debris as we can because remember, we want to prevent the chance of us scratching and damaging his grandpa's paint. So that's why we do the pre rinse, just how we did on the wheels. We're gonna do it to the paint, and we'll be right back with you guys once we're done. Top to bottom. Yes, sir. Let's do it. <laughs> And there we go, we rinsed off the vehicle, so we're gonna move on to foaming the vehicle up. We're gonna get it covered with that citrus washing gloss with using this big mouth foam cannon. So, let's get to it, Joey. Let's Are you gonna it. help me this time? I'm or? gonna help you, I, I wanna do it this time. Are you gonna do it? See, he wants to do the big boy <laughs> job. Right. This is actually the easiest part of the job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Actually proceed to actually wiping it down with our wash mitts so you guys saw AJ activate our suds we're gonna reactivate them just to kind of make sure that we have the best lubrication possible and then once we activate our suds we can go ahead and grab our wash mitts and actually go to wipe down the van now we're gonna be using the two bucket method uh, AJ you already know about the two bucket method you yes, know about sir. going back and forth with these buckets we have our soap bucket and we have a bucket here that just has water so during this process where we're gonna be wiping on the van we're also gonna be coming back and forth from these two buckets, rinsing off our wash mitt and picking up some more suds as we're cleaning the van so that we have the best filtered clean and we don't install any kind of scratches or swirls during the wash process. of this video series that we're doing on AJ's grandpa's van. So on today's video, we pretty much just gave it the attention that I needed as far as the wheels and pretty much a basic, you know, wash. So we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna dry it up using our woolly mammoth towels to give it that nice ultimate dry. And with no streaks left behind, dry it up and then we're gonna pull it inside for part two where we show you guys how to deep clean the interior. You guys definitely don't wanna miss out on that video because this interior is filthy. So make sure to stay tuned for that video if you guys wanna see it. As always, my name is Joey. My name is AJ. And this is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>